We need to order some more Valentine cards, Norris. I mean, there's always a last-minute rush. The ones for wife. It's always men that's not last minute, isn't it? Oh, and get the ones with flowers on and make sure there's no more than four lines to the verse because nobody reads long poems. Rita, I, I really do feel I should be at the court with you. It wouldn't be the end of the world if we closed the shop for once. Did they close the shop during the Blitz? Well, no, I believe they didn't. Well, if Hitler failed to stop the small trader, do you think we should let Scylla succeed? I wouldn't give her the satisfaction. Well, I, I just feel you need some moral support. Emily is coming with me. Oh, uh, Emily, understand that. Uh, look, I'm, I'm casting no aspersions on the kind of support you offer. I mean, very important is female support like yours, but... But, Rita, I'm, I'm your best male friend, and that's something different. I, I really think I should be there by your side. Support me here, Norris. I need to know everything's normal. But that's the whole point. It, it's not, is it? I mean, well, you tell her, Emily. Well, I do for once, Norris. See the sense Why? Of what I don't understand this. Why? It baffles me every year. Why are there always less envelopes than cards? I always check when they arrive. Do people just come in and steal envelopes, leaving me with cards that I can't sell? Do they not think? Look, you've got plenty of time. I'll make you both a cup of tea. No, I'm sorry. I'll make the tea. You just sort out that envelope crisis. Do I need to say anything? I don't think so, Norris. Not late, am I? For what? The trial. What are you going for? Support. <laughs> yes, yes. In olden times, people used to queue for days for a good view of the hanging. Well, we're not going to hang her, are we, no, Norris? No, certainly not. And those who go hoping so are going to be sadly disappointed. Oh, man, give over. You want my face off. I want you to look a little cherub out there, just wetting on your wings. Don't push it too far, Scylla. Do we really have to do this? No, of course not. Not if you don't want to swim with dolphins or have breakfast with Donald Duck. No. Listen, son. I'm doing all this for you. Am I asking you something difficult? Come on. This woman, what did she do to you? Belted me. And knocked you? Against some shelves. Then what? Don't know. Don't remember out till the hospital. My little angel. Have you got your speech worked out, just in case? Now, you, you, you will keep ph phoning, won't you? Keep me fully informed. Nor a football match, Norris. There's no need for a running commentary. Oh, me bag. Me bag. Hiya. Is this the big day, then? Yeah, sure is. Never a dull moment round here, is it? Tell Mrs. Winnie anything you like. She won't remember anything bad tomorrow anyway. Just make sure so she doesn't come trucking in, OK? No problem. Rita, love, I'm sorry. I had to get my girls sorted out. It's room for a phone, isn't there? There's a sherabang out into Blackpool, you know. Rita, we're your friends. Oh, Audrey, I'm sorry, love. I'd be glad of your company. Yes, well, you're bound to be a bit... A bit what? Uh, uh, come on, get in quick. We haven't got all day. There's the woman who could have killed you. Oi! You! We're gonna make you pay! Oh, shut up, Scylla. And get in the car. Come on, Chesney, love. A, a woman like that. She, she can't win. Hey, what do you reckon, then? I reckon Les deserves her. No, he doesn't. Nobody does. What's going on? We're seeing me, sir. Right, well, come on. She doesn't need a big sender from us. Let's get back to work. Now then, Chesney, nothing to bother yourself about. My mate over here is going to see you all right. Who's he when he's at home? He's a nusher, same as me. Has he got another name? Sounds like something out of Dracula. Yeah, he's called Tom. And he's going to go with you into a little room with just a video camera and a screen. <gasps> like you're a film star, kid. And you get to talk to folk like you're on one of them phones with pictures. <laughs> like a posh mobile. You've got it. Come on, son, I'll introduce you to Tommy. Here, picture book for you to look at when you get bored. I mean, you, you understand, I'm dead keen to, you know, say what I know like, but not that it's that much, really. And I couldn't add much, especially to, well, to be absolutely honest, I don't want to spend much more time in the dock like. You wouldn't be in the dock, Mr. Battersby. You'd be in the witness box. I 
meant. That's what I meant. It's only like I've got a terrible stammer when I'm asking questions and, and me up there could stretch the day out for hours and these things cost a fortune anyway, don't they? Don't worry, Mr. Battersby. I'm not intending to call you. We're convinced mother and child are more than sufficient to swim the day. I tried everything I know, sweetheart. She doesn't want me. Shame. You feel clear about this? The one thing to remember at all costs, Mrs. Sullivan, is not to let them rile you. Whatever you hear, whatever you're asked, just stay calm. Make no accusations. Just stay exactly with what you know. Yes, but I know they're lying. The magistrates are quite capable of coming to that conclusion themselves. But they would regard a direct accusation against a nine-year-old child as completely unwarranted, especially in light of your admission of the first blow. Let's just stay with the fact you only cuffed him once. Let them attempt to justify what they claim happened beyond that. You understand? Yes. You'll be fine. Norris? Uh, well, we, we really weren't doing any business, and I, it was a waste of time me just standing about, and well, I, I, I thought we'd save on electricity with the lights off. Mrs. Rita Sullivan! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm planning on sitting down. That cellar seat there. Huh? I don't see her. You see, will, pal. I knew your friend Rita will wish you hadn't. No change there, then. All right. <laughs> 